Hello and welcome to Dress Me Cam Mora. In this video, I'll show you how to sew the prettiest cropped cardigan. Full of grace and class, this cardigan is made of stretchy fabric, so it's not only elegant, but also super comfortable. I'll be using my new Diana cardigan sewing pattern for this. You can get yours at the link below in the description. Here are the materials that we'll need. The fabric I'm using is a ponte knit. You can use any medium weight, moderate stretch knit fabric, such as a sweater knit, a French terry, or a ribbed knit. And here are our pattern details. The front, the back, the neckline band, and the sleeve. Let's begin. If you have darts on your pattern, make sure to sew them first. We're going to pin and sew the shoulder seams and the side seams. You can stabilize the shoulders here with stay tape while serging. Press the shoulder seams and the side seams and use a wooden clapper to cool them down. Seam allowances of the side seams usually face the back. Sew the side seams of the sleeves, making sure that your two sleeves are symmetrical. Press the seam facing the back. You'll know the back side by the notch at the armhole. Now pin the sleeve into the armhole, matching up the back notches on the sleeve in the cardigan, as well as the center of the sleeve with the shoulder seam, evenly distributing the fabric. Sew, and then press the seam allowances facing the sleeve. Surge the hem and the sleeves of the cardigan. Now press the surged edge to flatten the seam and get rid of any waviness that we might have. For the neckline band, sew the two pieces of the neckline band together. At the center of the band, snip the corners of the seam allowances at an angle and then press them in opposite directions. You want to stabilize half of the neckline band by applying an interfacing from the hem to the first notch. This would be about 20 centimeters. Fold the band right sides together and sew the ends of the band closed. Now we can turn it out and fold the band and press. Without stretching your fabric here, pin the band to the cardigan. Start at the center back and match the notches of the shoulder seams and the neckline. And at the bottom, cover the band with the hem. And sew the neckline band to the cardigan, band side up. Then surge and press. And cool with a clapper. Now for the hem, mark 8 centimeters up from the edge. 
fold your hem up to the mark, pin and press. And in the same way, hem the sleeves as well. Now top stitch the hem 3 cm away from the edge. and then press your hem. Now we're going to work on our buttonholes. First, we need to mark the placement. You can try your cardigan on to find the best position. The first button should be at the bust level, with the last one at the hem. And now to sewing. Feed your button into your buttonhole machine foot. This will automatically size the buttonhole perfectly. Place it into your machine and pull down your buttonhole lever. Choose the right settings for your sewing machine, and sew the first buttonhole on a scrap piece of fabric to see if you need to make any adjustments. Now sew the buttonholes on your cardigan and make the holes using small scissors or a seam ripper, whichever works best for you. Now so that we know where to sew our buttons, fold your neckline band evenly, and at the center of the buttonhole, place one pin. Open up the band, and here we have our pins right where we need to sew the buttons. And now you can sew your buttons in place. And give your piece a finishing press and we are done with our beautiful Diana cardigan. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to sew one for yourself. I know you'll love it. You'll find the sewing pattern linked in the description of this video. Happy sewing!